Hi, Delusion Dispeller back again. Sorry to cut that last uh, video kind of short. My phone rang in the end and I just took the call real quick. And it's good I did because I have a potential job coming up. I'm already working doing samples for Sam's Club, but this is a job doing portrait photography, so I'm kind of excited about it. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the red flags. Psychological abuse. Um, it could be threats through words like, if I can't have you, no one can. Um, your mother's going to pay, like a father to a kid might say that. Um, if you do, you'll be sorry, that type of thing. Um, perpetrators will use different ways of psychological abuse, uh, depending on whatever buttons they can push that will get you to do what they want you to do. They will threaten to harm you. They might threaten to harm your pets, your children. They might threaten suicide. They'll kill themselves if you don't give them what they want. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. A lot of times when an abuser is about to abuse you, they'll get mad and they'll hit the wall next to you or they'll slam a chair down that's near you. All of those are hints that there's going to be psychological abuse forthcoming. So be very careful to not minimize that and think, oh, well, they just broke my china, or he just banged the wall, or he just busted the window. He'll, you know, be okay. I won't be hurt. But you could be next, so keep that in mind. Um, some of the actions are stalking. Um, holding out a weapon, like just kind of threatening you, maybe near your throat, maybe just showing you something he has, a knife, a gun, or something he could hurt you with, or she. Um, standing over you, a lot of times intimidators will stand and glare at you. You can see that in one of my other videos. Um, yelling and screaming, forms of intimidation, screaming in your face, um, cursing at you, or cussing if you want to call it that. Um, they might, this is a big one, they might be driving with you in a car and get so angry and speed up the car really, you know, fast and start zooming around and zigzagging and you feel like you're going to die. That's a form of abuse too because it puts your well-being at stake. Um, also doing that with your children, even if you're not in the car or your grandchildren, there's different ways that abusers psychologically abuse you without out and out hitting you. So they can justify it to themselves that it's not really abuse. We're going to cover emotional abuse on the next video. And I need to say on this video that I didn't get to say on the first part of it. If you are in danger, do not keep it a secret. Make sure you find a safe person to tell so that you can get the help that you need to get out of the situation. So have a great day and I will talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching Delusion Dispeller and have a wonderful time in your freedom, hopefully, that you're now walking in. And if you're not, get the help you deserve. You're worth it. God bless you. Bye.